So in the last video, we left off being able to identify variable names um, and variable assignments. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually assign the variable. So the way you normally uh, assign variables and keep track of their values and things like that is you use something called a symbol table. So our symbol table is just going to simply be a Python dictionary. So I'm going to create a global variable called symbol table, or actually I'll just call it symbols, and I'll set it equal to a dictionary. Then what I'm going to do in the uh, at the end of the legs function, I'm just going to uh, comment that out. So after I've commented that out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add um, a new item to the dictionary. So the way we do that is really similar to an array. We just say symbols. We give um, it a name. So this would be our variable name. So I would say variable in the case of the last video. The variable we assigned was called variable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it equal to a value. So I'll say hello. Then what I'll do is I'll say print symbols. So as you can see, it prints our dictionary and we have just a random value. So that what we want to do is we want our uh, interpreter to add these values to the symbol table. So we come down to our parse function and we can see here this section is used to print um, different values and to know what to do with each of the values. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, if uh, tokes, oops, that's not right, if tokes i plus space plus uh, tokes i plus 1 uh, plus space plus uh, tokes i plus 2 equals and this is where it will sort of make a bit more sense we'll say variable actually we'll say var then we'll say space equals space uh, string so we're going to allow string um, assignment to variable names. So that's what this uh, means. And we actually need to uh, get the first three characters of it. So we'll say 0, 3. And that's how we get a var. So as you can see up here, uh, actually I'll go up here. You can see uh, the token for a variable looks like this. So we want to get the first three characters, which is the word var. And that's how we're going to identify it as a, as a variable. Uh, equals is fine and then string we have to get the first eight characters or the first six characters actually uh, so we go zero six so then what I'll do is I will say i plus equals uh, three because in here we say i plus equals two because we want to push um, the counter i on two because we just used uh, two tokens well we've identified two tokens together that do one specific thing so we wanted to move on after that so here we have three tokens uh, that do one specific thing. So we want to push it on three tokens to get uh, the next tokens. So what I'll do first is I'll just print, um, say, tokes i plus 2. So this will just print uh, the string hello in this case. So one, way, one good way to debug things is we can go up here again. And, okay, so I can see the problem straight away. It's because we're returning nothing because we, return, we basically turned off the parse function while we were uh, adding stuff to the legs function. So what I'll do is I will basically turn the parse function back on by returning the tokens variable. And if I run this, you can see we have our, 40, our first um, evaluation at the top. And then we can see the string hello, which means we can see that part of the variable assignment is actually done correctly. Uh, so we're going to get rid of the print from for, uh, for the moment and we're going to focus on the variable. So here we have the variable name hello and if I run this again we'll just get the string hello printed out to us. I uh, will the token actually. But this isn't actually assigned to anything so what we want to do is we want to go down here and all we have to do is create a, a function called uh, assign variable and we just need to pass it tokes i plus 2 which is the string that we just printed out or the token we just printed out actually so what, or actually we'll call it do assign and the reason we call it do assign is because we want to keep uh, say we want to keep the function name similar so here we have do print so we're going to do do assign for variables so if we go down here we create the def uh, or we create the function using the def keyword and we said def assign or add def do assign so we want to take two variables actually, uh, we want to take the variable uh, var name and we want to take 
or value because we can ignore the equals because we already know it's an assignment um, because we're using the do assign function so we don't need to pass that to the function we just need to pass tokes uh, i and tokes i plus two so what we want to do is we just want to say symbols um, var name equals var value but we actually want to say var name uh, and we want to get rid of the uh, first four characters so we'll say four and that will mean uh, well actually four colon that means it'll start at the fourth character and move on so we don't want um, the uh, beginning of the token uh, being stored because it's just a waste so we don't want these four characters to be stored we just want um, the rest of it here this variable name to be stored so uh, if we run this we should get uh, the result we're looking for but what I'll do down here just to be sure it worked is I'll say print symbols uh, okay oh yeah we're using Python 3 so we have to use the print function so we'll say symbols so if we run this you can see it prints our symbol table and here is the variable stored and I can go in here and I can just copy and paste it and I can override a variable and as you can see now that variable equals this or I can create another variable so I say var2 so as you can see now we have two variables in our dictionary and we're storing them correctly uh, one thing to note just before we go in our language we denote a variable by um, anything that begins with uh, a dollar sign and it isn't part of a string in uh, one of the other basics you can see that a variable is denoted by um, a string of characters and then uh, a dollar sign at the end the reason we didn't use the dollar sign at the end uh, is because it's a lot easier to um, identify it if the dollar signs at the beginning because uh, if you think about it then we'd otherwise we'd have to uh, have an else down here that just loops through every character and just looks for um, dollar signs and then goes backwards and gets um, the other characters so it's just a lot easier to have the dollar sign at the front uh, of our variables to denote a variable so uh, that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and follow us on google plus and i'll see you next time